Hello, I'm Charlotte Rushton. I'm the managing director of the large and mid-sized law firm business at Thomson Reuters. I'm here at the 22nd annual Law Firm Leaders Forum in New York City, and I'm joined by Betty Temple, who is the chair and CEO of Womble. So Betty, you're also co-chair of the forum, and you're on a, p a panel this morning that talked about the most significant developments in the legal industry over the last 12 months. Can you talk to us about what the panel discussed? Well, it was really a terrific panel, and there have been a lot of developments in the last 12 months, but my key takeaway is that the pace of change is really um, accelerating, and it has over the past 12 months. And the way that clients want to deal with their law firms and that the expectations for new service requirements have just exponentially changed and increased on lawyers. And so law firms are having to respond. And those demands are creating not just new expectations, but new best practices from law firms. Right. So what, looking forwards, what are they looking at in the next 12 months in terms of significant developments? Well, I think we're going to see more and more big corporations like Microsoft, I mean, you heard from Lucy today, talk about all the changes that they're implementing and what their expectations are for outside counsel. And I think other big companies are going to take the lead from Lucy and others and going to ask more for their outside counsel. And they're going to ask that big law deliver innovative solutions that's faster, more efficient, and better for their for them. And so we're going to have to respond. And that's going to be a challenge for law firms that are built around traditional structures. Right, right. So interesting times. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the first year you've been the, the co-chair of the forum, and it's really become a, a preeminent forum for gathering senior C-suite and senior leaders from law firms. How's the experience been? Well, it's been a wonderful experience. I loved getting to know other law firm leaders and key uh, leaders in, in uh, corporations as well. And so it's been a terrific experience. I love the candor uh, from the panelists and even from the audience. And it's been a wonderful learning experience and I've just been terrific to be a part of it. So tomorrow you're chairing a panel which ha is addressing the question of why aren't there more women leaders in law firms today? And so I'd love to hear your perspective on what you think might be some of the answers you hear from that panel. Well, I'm sure we'll hear, have a very candid discussion. I'm not sure how many answers that we're going to have out there, but I do think what, it's really important that we shed um, some light on this issue. I think there it's a really a mindset shift that needs to take place, and there's a lot of work to do, not a lot of real answers, um, but I do think there are some things that the industry can do to make sure there are more women leaders in the future. Right, and, st and the starting point is always to address the problem and, and talk about the problem. Absolutely, right? and address the, the issues that underlie uh, the problem as well. Mm -hmm.